going on guys welcome back to the channel today we got a lot to do so just had a birthday thank you everybody for the birthday wishes turned the big old 35 to treat myself and really you know the channel um we went out and bought something new what you're watching right now is a gopro hero 8 i've had it for a little while sun fine but um i'm a sucker for like tech and gadgets and stuff like that man the gopro 9 hero black just came out cool upgrades they increased the megapixels gave it like 5k and some stuff like that which I'm not gonna use pretty much for YouTube. We're stuck on like 1080p, maybe 4K sometimes. But the cool thing is the front facing camera. So like right now I'm in linear mode. You guys are watching. I think that I'm in view. I probably am, but I can't really see what I'm doing. I can't really frame my shots. Very excited that the new Hero 9, which we're going to unbox and test as a part of this video, is here. So GoPro Hero 9, this is really exciting, man. So we got the big uh, live view screen right there. So you can, you know, flip it back and forth and you can be in frame, be in the shot. So let's just open it up real fast. Um, tons of videos on the GoPro 9 hitting YouTube right now. So we're not just gonna, we're not gonna beat it to death, but I do wanna, you know, take a couple of minutes and just open this up real fast. And then, because it's a busy day, what we also have to do is uh, we're gonna try to figure out the two-step on this two 2019 twin turbo mustang that we've got here my my drag car my race car the two-step we have an n2mb watt box we have it hidden in the glove box and then we also have it wired up right now to activate with a switch so far we've had no real success doing that for whatever reason <laughs> So what we're going to try is something different. A buddy of mine sent me over a PDF file instead of the crank wire on the PCM. We're going to use the injector wire on the PCM. So very fast switch, but supposedly this is the way to do it on an 18 plus Mustang. What was happening before was with the crank, it was... ...working, but... When we went to launch the car, it would go crazy and almost act like it was in limp mode. So we did have a tune revision uh, sent to me, still same problem. And we think that we just need to relocate a wire. I'll uh, leave a thumbs up if you enjoy stuff like this. It's kind of like a day in the life kind of deal. Nothing really super serious, but open this guy up, move forward, replace a wire, test out the two-step, go on the street, see if it works. Hopefully it will. Really cool that it comes in this little case. They cost a little bit more than the Hero 8s did when they first came out, but you know, this is one of the justifications behind that, I'm sure. Look at that. Wow, that's a little bigger, man. That's a little bigger. Oh, that's a lot bigger in the hands. The back screen is supposedly bigger too, so it makes using this thing a little bit easier, but really cool that we can frame our shot. So what we're gonna do is take this inside, give it a charge, and swap over to the new GoPro Hero 9 right now. Back on the, well, for the first time, the Hero 9. Tell me down below, is there any difference from what you can tell in a dark garage. Anyway, so we have our wires switched. We went from the crank to the injector and it's time to get inside of the car, hook up our laptop, program the two-step, give it a test and see if it works. All right, let's go. Get the wires down there since we were messing with them. But let's hop inside and we have it located right here. So a bunch of mess and Let's plug her up. So cool. I know, again, such a gimmicky thing. I can actually come up here and frame a shot and see the um, the picture. It's a little bit like choppy on the front camera. It's not smooth like maybe a DSLR with a flip screen or something like that, but really cool to actually have this. And really the only reason we're using a front camera anyway is just frame shot, but such a cool little thing. I'm going to sell the GoPro 8 for sure. It's definitely going away just in the 30 seconds of using this one, but we got to find our program for the into MB watt box. The watt box is really cool for stick shift guys because you get the no lift shift. But the cool thing is the into MB watt box is super cheap, like 200 bucks or sub that. And I uh, got mine from lethalperformance.com. You can go to the website use promo code xander13 at checkout some of that stuff is map restricted so i get this all the time if the code's not working hit up my boy logan schatzberg or hit up jared himself let him know that you're trying to use the code 
and it's not working and they will take care of you just let them know that xander 13 sent you now if you're in the market for turbo kits well you know where to go hellhorseperformance.com promo code xander 13 that saves a bunch of money when you're trying to buy turbo kits because they big money we're going to make sure that our no lift shift is off see how it's enabled we're going to check that off because it's a 10r80 built transmission automatic yes we do drag racing <laughs> I don't shift gears on the racetrack. I used to. All of my life, I was really, really pro manual until the 18 Mustang came out with the 10 already. And uh, it's the truth, guys. It really is. But, all right, let's program a couple of things, get back to the video in just a second once I figure this out, and then give her a test. But this is the way we had it work. So, this little James Bond switch right there. So, we do our burnout, we go up and we stage at the lights. On the way to the lights, we will just simply toggle this. And that's tied in between the pedal uh, activation uh, wire. The idea is to work with the foot brake. We can change this wire to make it work off of the trans brake using the paddles. We may toy around with that in the future, but I really like the foot brake. It's a less violent launch, but we need to be leaving under boost. This should be the magic ticket. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Playing around with some of the settings. I think we got it figured out. So we got the switch in the on position. I'm in drag mode, ABS and all that's turned off, but what it was doing before was when we tried this off of the foot brake, well, I guess it doesn't matter if you could, it had been done doing the same thing off of the paddles too. Um, when you would go to give a two step, it would work, but then the engine would basically kind of go into like a limp mode afterwards. It would be misfiring and blah, 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 blah. It was all crazy. So, but check this out. So we got on, we're gonna go to drive and we're just gonna floor it. It seems to be working. So I got it only at about 2000 RPM. The idea is to build boost when we launch. So I don't know what 2000 is going to give us. We don't have a big converter in the car anymore because it got all messed up. But very carefully, we're gonna to try to do this in our driveway um, and just see if we can build some boost. <laughs> So we've started to build some. That's a good sign. So you want to sit on the two-step. You want to sit on the two-step for, you know, maybe like three to five seconds or whatever. But the glorious thing is now that you can hear. The car is perfect. So the next thing that we need to do is take it on the street. See if we can do a baby launch safely. Uh, let some tire pressure out and just see what happens. And then we're going to go to the racetrack and see if we can play around with it. Now, we still have the option to change this little James Bond type switch to um, the trans brake if we want to in the future. But the cool thing is we turn this off, right? So we go back to drive and now no two step. The button works off of the foot brake. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you need this PDF on an 18 plus 10 r rated car and uh, send me an email, Instagram, leave a comment, whatever. I will see if I can shoot you over this PDF. It's very helpful, very dummy proof. Um, if I can figure it out, then you certainly can too. I do highly recommend that you have oil pump gears and crank sprocket installed on your Mustang if you want to do something like this a two-step yeah it's a little bit stressed you don't want to sit on it for too long but oil pump gears crank sprocket i think you kind of need those because as you can hear bop, bop, bop. all right i know i can already hear it somebody's going to ask you you might even be thinking it right now can i do this to my car yes you can it works in both manual and automatic what you were just hearing our little two-step adventure was only at about 2000 rpm so that's not really going to help us that much at the track so something for us to play around with but yes now we can officially leave under boost so now it seems to be right on the money i set the uh controller our little n2 mb watt box for 2000 rpm and that is exactly where it was hovering on the dash so perfect now what we got to do is just learn to take it up again the objective is to leave under boost this is going to help us get there but do highly recommend oil pump gears crank sprocket because i mean yeah you can see things are rattling around and that last little clip the car's a little bit shaky so the reason is again 2000 rpm um and then on the track it's going to be a little bit different it's trying to hop the car around so we're on a sticky track it's going to hook going to two-step and we're going to fly success 
it is working actually now that i think about it man i may actually just make this a two-part video because i think we're gonna have a ton of fun on the street testing this thing because we're gonna learn to two-step take it up a little bit see where it will hold and launch the car i want to get some good exterior shots everything so i might need a buddy but all right we'll call this one video one two-step is working let me know how you like it what do you think pretty easy install a little bit more complicated than the msd but there has been reports of failure with the msd that's why we went with the into mb watt box so again promo codes links down below to save you some money also let me know what do you think about i can't stop staring at myself with this screen up here instead of looking at you i'm looking at me pretty cool we have this gopro 9 so now we can frame our shots anyway man i'll see you guys next video take care have a great day later